you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're too kind, you're too kind. Hey, where'd my applause go? Hi, Mindy here from Wow in the World, and did you know that according to science, saying thank you and being grateful can actually help humans like you and me live longer lives? It's true. And we've got a whole episode for you all about having an attitude of gratitude for science. So Reggie, cue up the thank yous. And P.S. Reggie, I appreciate you. I do, I do. And you too. I don't know what you've been told, but we're in a golden age. So many discoveries that are jumping off the page. Wow in the world. 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 Here today at Grandma G Force's diaper house. It stinks in here. Yeah. Oh no, you did it. Okay, so Grandma G Force, we have come together because we care about you. Yeah. And we're a little concerned about how certain behaviors of yours might be affecting our relationships. Yeah. Now this is not about blame or criticism. We just want to support you and help you find ways. To make positive changes. No. What? I do not want to be here. I'm going home. <sighs> here we go. Grandma G Force, this is your home. Your diaper home. Yeah, the one we built for you. Out of diapers. And then it caved in. And we rebuilt it again. Out of diapers. And afterwards, you never said the magic word. Magic word? What magic word? Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, that magic word. You also never say abracadabra or hocus pocus even. What? Uh, no, Dennis. Grandma G-Force never says the other magic word. And that's why we're here today. Ah, uh, right, 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 right. Grandma G-Force, Mindy and I are afraid that you might be incapable of expressing gratitude or thankfulness. That's right, Guy Raz. You see, Grandma G-Force, according to a new scientific study... Uh -huh. Doorbell. Uh, what now? I'll get it. <sighs> coming, coming. Hello, who are you? Yoo-hoo, did I hear someone say the magic word? You mean Alakazam? No, no thank, thank you. you. All right. Get out, Judy. Judy? I do not need no gratitude, Judy, getting all up in my business trying to get me to say thank you all the live long day. She never quits. Uh, Mindy, what is going on here? I'm sorry, Judy, but we're kind of in the middle of trying to tell my grandma G-Force that she's really bad at being grateful. Yeah. So if you could just maybe come back another and time. Allow we... me to introduce myself. My name is Judy, president of the International Coalition of Grandmas for Gratitude, otherwise known as ICGA. And we ain't buying what you're selling, Judy. Grandma G-Force, be nice. Wait, grandmas for gratitude? Yes, young man, that's correct. We are a group of grateful grandmas committed to spreading the good word on gratitude. Also known as the magic word. Right, gratitude Judy? Yes. Presto change Go away, Judy. I told you I ain't gonna join your old lady club. I'm a teenager. G-Force, you should be grateful that this old lady wants you to join her old lady club. Now say thank you. Well, thank you, Fingerling. Yay, she did it! Granny G said thank you. Yeah, uh, kinda. Uh, excuse me, uh, can we get back to the gratitude intervention now, uh, please? Oh, yeah, I forgot we were doing that. Why, yes, we can. Thank you, Judy. Oh, no, thank you. Thank me? And me. Oh, thank all of you. Where? Now, where were we? Uh, I don't know. Mindy? Where are we? <sighs> Grandma G-Force, we brought you here today because some of us feel a little 
underappreciated by you. I do not know what appreciated means. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the problem here. Yeah, see, the word appreciate basically means the same thing as to be thankful, which means the same thing as to be grateful. Nope, never heard of it. Yeah, we've noticed. Uh, maybe I should give you an example of what I'm talking about. Whatever. See, Grandma G-Force, sometimes I get the feeling that you don't appreciate the love of your granddaughter. Give me one example. Uh... Grandma G-Force, it's me, your granddaughter Mindy. Who? Oh, man. Hi, Grandma G-Force. I brought you this bouquet of roses for Grandmother's Day. Grandmother's Day? Well, why are you giving them to me then? Oh, man. Grandma G-Force, hugs. Nope. Oh, man. Yikes. That's called, yeah. Grandma G-Force will now give you a moment to respond. Judy, are you still here? I am, darling. Gratefully. Well, don't be. And Mandy, I do not know why none of this matters. Besides, I got plenty of attitude. That's true. That's true. Well, it's true that you do have plenty of attitude, Grandma G-Force. But the problem is, you don't seem to have any gratitude. No, I do not. And this is where the Coalition of Grandmas for Gratitude comes to the rescue. Well, somebody put a whole ham in her mouth. What? No, no. I, for one, am curious to hear what gratitude Judy has to say. Yeah, let her speak. Oh, fine. Go on, Gratitude Judy. Grandma G Force, do you wish to live a long life? Well, I don't know. I'm already about 200 years old. Uh, let's try this another way. Uh, Grandma G Force, do you wish to have more years to fight with and torment Thomas Fingerling? What? Don't offer her that. Oh, why, uh, yes. Yes, I do. Well, Gratitude is the answer. Wow! Are you telling me that if I start being thankful for stuff, I get to fight with Fingerling for another hundred years? Uh, I think we're losing the point a bit, dear. Wait a minute. Guy Raz and I just read a scientific study on this. Remember, Guy Raz? Uh, <laughs> no, no, he hear us out. We promise you this is a fascinating new discovery. That's right. Now settle in, everyone. We're going to tell you a little story about gratitude. Oh, well, okay, but make it quick. You see, a group of scientists from Harvard University and the University of British Columbia wanted to know if people who often feel thankful live longer. Do, 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 do. I'm a scientist, and I wonder what kinds of things make people live long lives. I'm a scientist, too, and I wonder if people who are thankful live longer or never die. To find out, they looked at information from a big study of almost 50,000 nurses in the U.S. Okay, all you nurses, time to gather around. Okay, now we're going to study you. Feller, what were we thinking collecting 50,000 nurses? This is way too many nurses. Well, too late now. The study began in the year 1976, and over the next few decades, scientists would check back in with these nurses to keep track of their health and feelings. All right, all you nurses, we're here to ask you about your feelings. And to inspect your health even though that's really your job, because you're nurses. Yeah, we're only scientists. And then, in 2016, when on average most of the nurses were around 79 years old, the scientists had them answer questions about how grateful they felt. Okay, all you nurses, we've been up in your business for three decades now. But there's one thing we still don't know about you. Yeah! We want to know which of you are grateful for the stuff in your lives. That's right. So one at a time, we'll need you to listen up and rate the following gratitude statements on a scale of one to seven. If you give the statement a one, it means it's not true at all. And if you give it a seven, it means it's super duper true. Okay, statement number one. 
I have so much to be thankful for. Oh, I give that one a seven. I'm super thankful for you, Tommy. Well, that's scientist Tommy to you. Ah, right, 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 right. I'm super grateful for you, scientist Tommy. All right, statement number two. If I had to list everything I felt grateful for, it would be a very long list. Okay, let's see. What am I grateful for? Um... Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with mittens. Feller, uh, be quiet and study. Oh, uh, Dennis, you're playing the role of a scientist in this story. Stop answering the nurse questions. Sorry, I can't help it. Okay, statement number three. When I look at the world, I don't see much to be grateful for. Ah, well, that's depressing. I have so much to be grateful for. Cream-colored ponies and crisp apple strudels. Dennis! (laughs) I never said I wanted to be a scientist in this story. I want to be a nurse now. No! (laughs) Anyway, the scientists then checked back again three years later when most of the nurses were in their early 80s. And while some of the nurses from the study had had sadly passed away by then. The scientists found that most of the nurses who reported feelings of gratitude were more likely to still be alive. Oh, wow. Look, scientist Tommy, the nurses here are still alive. What does it mean? Uh, I don't know. What it meant was that there might be a connection between feeling thankful or grateful and living a long life. Congratulations, nurses. You have lived a long, fruitful life filled with gratitude. Yay, nurses! You did it! And that concludes our 30-plus year study. Thank you for participating. You may all die now. Dennis! What? (sighs) They lived a long life with lots to be grateful for. What's left? (sighs) Well, there you have it, G-Force. Scientific proof that joining us in the International Coalition of Grandmas for Gratitude will add years to your life. It will? It sure will. Well, not so fast, Gratitudey Judy. What? What is it, dear? While this study shows a possible link between gratitude and a long life, it doesn't prove that gratitude directly makes you live longer. (laughs) That's right. The scientists think it's important to do more studies with different kinds of people to see if the results are the same. Oh, boy! A sequel! But in the meantime, it's not a bad idea to take some time every day to be grateful for all of the good things in our lives. That's true. You know, a little gratitude never hurt anyone. Oh, well, okay. I'll say it. I'll say the magic word. You You will? will? Yeah, but I'm only going to say it if it means I get to torment fingerling for another 50 years. Well, I'm afraid that... That might be stretching the limits of gratitude. Well, good thing I'm flexible then. Huh? Granddaughter Mandy. <gasps> yes? I am g- 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 uh, Go on, Grandma G-Force. Uh, you can say it. You got this, Grandma G-Force. Uh, I am. I am g- g- what? What is it? A cuckoo baby? Dennis! Shh. Oh, just spit it out, G-Force. I am grateful to have you for my granddaughter. Aww. Now get over here and give your grandma G-Force a hug. <gasps> really? Get over here, honey. Another job well done for Judy. Well, G-Force, I hate to say it, but I'm grateful to have you in my life. You keep things interesting and are the best at cracking my knuckles when I'm too tired to do it myself. Ah, come here, fingerling. (laughs) G-Force, be careful. No. And Guy Raz, I'm grateful to have you as my best friend in the whole wide world. Oh, and Reggie, too. Thanks, Mindy, and I'm grateful for all the adventure you bring into my life, even if it's often disguised as chaos. Okay, my turn. In no particular order, I'm grateful for dogs in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white winters that melt into spring. Hi, thanks for calling.
Calling Wow in the World. After the beep, get ready to record. Hi, Mindy and Guy Ross. My name is Knox, and I live in Brownsburg, Indiana. My wow in the world is snails have over 14,000 teeth. Say hi to Reggie, <laughs> Grandma G-Force, wow. Thomas Fingerling, Gnarly. and Dennis for me. Ahoy there! Love your show. Bye. Hi, my name is Alyssa. I live in Dallas, Texas, and my wow in the world is ant eaters don't have teeth. They use their tongue to eat their food. Hello, I am Malcolm, and I live in Duncan, British Columbia, Canada. And my wow in the world is that there are actually earthquakes on the moon. Love your show. Bye. Hi, Mindy and Guy Raz. My name is George, and I'm from Golden Valley, Minnesota. And my wow in the world is that earthworms don't need lungs to breathe. They absorb oxygen through their skin. Love your podcast. Hi, Mindy and Guy Raz. My name is Lena, and my wow in the world is that tigers are the largest cat species in the world, and no two tigers have the same stripes, and tigers are good swimmers. I love your show. Hi, Mindy and Guy Raz. My name is Brooke, and I am from Australia and the Gold Coast. My wow in the world is marsupials are animals that carry their babies in pouches, like kangaroos, wombats, koalas, and Tasmanian devils. Say hi to Reggie, Grandma Jesus, and Annoying Dennis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Guy Raz. This is McKenna, and this is Kyla, oh, my sister. We are from Richmond, Virginia. Did you know the first dinosaur discover was a megalosaurus in 1824. Love your show. Bye, Mindy. Bye, Guy Ross. Bye, Reggie. Bye, Dennis. Bye. Love your show. Love your show. Hello, my name is Oscar, and I am from Pleasant Mile, Pennsylvania. My world in the world is that flamingos are born white and turn pink as they get older and eat shrimp and algae. Say hi to Reggie, Dennis, Grandma G, Force, Thomas Singling, and Static Man. Hi! Oh, yeah! Sure. <laughs> hi, I'm Teddy from Okemos, Michigan. And my wow in the world is that the mountain chicken is a type of frog. Say hi to Grandma G, Force. Oh, snap. Hello, Mindy and Guy Raz. My name is Abby, and I live in Seattle, Washington. And my wow in the world is that a tsunami can travel as fast as a jet plane. Thank you. And also say hi to Reggie and Dennis for me. Howdy. Bye. End of messages. Visit us at Tinkercast.com. There you can become a member of the World Organization of Wowzers to get year-round mailings and weekly activities. Shop our wow shop, get tickets for upcoming events, find our best-selling books, and learn about some of the other amazing podcasts from Tinkercast. Grown-ups, you can follow Wow in the World on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Wow in the World, and our email address is hello at Tinkercast.com. And if you're a kid with a big wow to share with us, call us at 1-888-7-WOW-WOW for a chance to be featured at the end of our show or an upcoming episode of Two What's in a Wow. Thanks again for listening. Keep Keep on wowing. Wow in the World was made by Tinkercast and set to you by Wondery.